Today's topic is ischemia. Ischemia occurs when there is a restriction in blood supply to tissues, resulting in a shortage of oxygen that is needed to keep the tissues alive. In addition to the insufficient oxygen, ischemia is also characterized by reduced availability of nutrients and inadequate removal of metabolic waste. With breathing, oxygen is pulled into the lungs where it enters the blood. It then travels throughout the body in blood vessels, veins, and arteries. Ischemia is caused by problems with the blood vessels. This means some part of the body is not getting enough blood. Since oxygen is carried to the tissues in the blood, insufficient blood supply causes tissues to be starved of oxygen. Ischemia can happen in the brain, legs, heart, intestines, kidneys, and just about anywhere in between. Ischemia can lead to life-threatening problems such as stroke, a heart attack, or even tissue death. Causes Arteriosclerosis, a condition in which plaque collects in the arteries. A plaque is a hard, sticky substance that is made of fat. The plaque builds up slowly and over time can harden and narrow the arteries. This process slows down the blood flow because the blood has less space to move through. Blood clots or thromboembolism. A blood clot can cause a sudden and serious stoppage to your blood flow and can sometimes break off and cause problems in other parts of the body. Localized extreme cold, such as frostbite. Rupture of significant blood vessels supplying a tissue or organ. Premature stoppage of any oral anticoagulant. Sickle cell disease. Outside compression of a blood tissue by a tumor. Hypotension. Radiotherapy. Traumatic injury to an extremity. Embolism or foreign body in the circulation. Thoracic outlet syndrome, the compression of the brachial plexus. Hypoglycemia, a lower than normal level of glucose. Symptoms. Symptoms depend on where the ischemia is based. They include heart, chest pain, tiredness, vomiting, shortness of breath during exercise, rapid heart rate, sweating. Brain headache, weakness and numbness, slurred speech, loss of consciousness, legs, pain in the feet, coldness and weakness in the legs, severe pain in the legs even while resting, shiny smooth skin on the legs, intestines, abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea, bloody stool, vomiting. Diagnosis and Treatment Diagnosis and treatment depend on where the ischemia is based. These shall be covered in subsequent scripts where each type of ischemia will be discussed extensively. To lower the risk of ischemia, the following lifestyle changes will help. Eating more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Exercising often. Smoking cessation. Lowering stress by trying meditation, yoga, or deep breathing. Treat other underlying health problems like diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure. Do a regular checkup. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.